Hello, it's Stefan Joubert here and in today's video I'm going to show you a cool little hack that is especially uh, applicable to guitarists who's been playing a little, little while but not quite that long and they're struggling to get to know the notes. So let's get started with this little hack. So as a younger guitarist you do know your E major chord, you probably know the G, the A, the B flat, the B, the bar chord shapes. You might know the A major shape, you might know this is a C, you might know this is a D or this is an E using the A major bar chord shape. So where am I going with this? Basically you know that that's an E, that's an A, that's a B. So I'm on the 6th string open, I'm on the 6th string 5th fret and the 6th string 7th fret. You probably know the notes around the 6th fret, 6th string as well as the 5th string. So you probably know that's an E, that's a C, that's a B, that's a G, etc. But when you look at the strings here, your mind goes fuzzy, you don't know what's going on. So I'm going to show you a little quick little hack, like as a scaffolding approach to get to know your second string. We're just going to look at the second string in relation to the fifth string. Now, I do not like tricks and things like that, so I'm not saying you should use this as the ultimate method. I've got a video, look in the description below, on memorizing the second string. Do watch that one as well. But use this as a scaffolding to get your way around. So what do we do? If I know this is an E, because I know my... I've played maybe like a... Sort of, you know, bar chord shape, you know, progression. And I know, okay, this is E major and E's over here. How do I find the E on string 2? It's very simple. I'm on string 5, I go to string 2. That's not an E, but one, two semitones back, that's an E. So whatever we have here, go a straight line across to two, go two semitones back. Two, so straight line two, straight two back. Very easy. You go, you go over and you go back. So you go to the string two and you go two back. So if this is a C, because you may know the C chord, then you can go over to, to this note and two back. So we can call it 2-2 two, two, if you like, the 2-2 two, two pattern, or the this way, this way pattern. Um, if we've got a G, you might know from the bar chord or minor chord, you might know this is the G. We go over to the second string and 1-2 back and we find our G there. That's also called string group 2-5, two, 2-5. Five, two, five. If we know this is the A, 12th fret, maybe we've played some pentatonic licks there. We go over to the second string and one, two back, and that's the A. I know this is simplistic and easy, but it can really help someone. It's like a scaffolding approach. By the way, please do subscribe, like the videos if you can, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear, hear from you and I'd love to converse with you. So let's just do another one as an example. The fifth string, fifth fret, that is a D. Maybe you know it from playing something like... Like a sort of D sus2 chord, you just go across to the second string and you go down two semitones and you have the D there. So am I saying that each time you look for an E you go across to find it? In the beginning you can use this technique. Later, please watch my video on memorizing the second string. I prefer if you memorize things straight out, but if this can help you, there's like a scaffolding approach to building your guitar playing then you may use this. Don't always stick with the tricks, try to learn things properly, but this can be something for you to get started with. So once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I wish you the greatest of success in your guitar playing. And remember, it's a journey and you've got much more potential within you than you can imagine. You are a big success. You've got, there's a world inside of you. The creator has created you with infinite possibilities. So don't let anything hold you back. Go and make your dreams come true. I'll speak to you in the next video. Goodbye.